One of the ways that plant breeders have improved crop production is to take advantage of hybrid vigor, or the scientific term heterosis. Corn is the great example of doing that. And here we have several rows showing the hybrid right here, this tall row here, flanked by its two parents. So hybrid vigor simply means the improved performance of offspring compared to the parents. Now, these inbred line parents have to be carefully selected so that their combination results in the type of hybrid vigor. You know, not just taller plants, but also, most importantly, higher yield. Corn is uh, very easy to make a hybrid because the male and the female parts are so separate. The male part being the tassel, where the pollen is produced, and the female part, the silks, leading to the kernels. So it's very easy to cut off the tassels to detassel a plant so that we can pollinate one of these parents only with pollen from the male parent. So corn is a great example and hybrid production started in the US as early as the 1930s. In other crops, it's not so easy, but corn is, is the great example. Now, one thing that farmers are often advised is not to save seed from an F1 hybrid because the production will be less. And that is shown in this row right here. This is an F2 plant produced by self-pollinating or the seed saved from an F1 hybrid. So the height of this plant is quite a bit less than the hybrid. It's still more than the inbred line, but the productivity here would be much less than the F1 hybrid.